Don't give me what are we talking about? We how, are how, talking about Thanksgiving. How to, right? how to. It's a how to video. It's a how to video. This is how you do it. Thank it's you. Like, Welcome like to those videos I watch on like woodworking and stuff. How to. My most recent was how to patch a hole in drywall. Uh-oh. Somebody <laughs> hit a wall? Yeah. yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Should we, should we, should we talk no, about it? No, like I, I don't need counseling. <laughs> How many of you would like to have to <laughs> share about needing to do some drywall oh, repair? Oh, yeah. Huh. Anyways, how to Thanksgiving. Okay, so I, I, won't, I won't delve into that anymore. <laughs> how to but, Thanksgiving. But, but we, we, we have some graphics today, so that's why. I... Excellent. Love it. Yeah, I thought you might appreciate that. Because Thanksgiving is a great time. I always liked Thanksgiving. It, um, because it's when your uncle would come home from college? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Actually, family is the main reason why I enjoy Thanksgiving, when everybody yeah. gets together. So, so that yeah. aspect of Thanksgiving obviously has changed. How have your plans changed for Thanksgiving with COVID? Oh, boy. So uh, th there's a number of places that we uh, could go. And it's, it's all family. And, uh, yeah, instead of getting together with, well, let's think. This is... This is the second uh, Thanksgiving with no parents for my brothers and myself. Right. Uh, no grandparents for you. Yep. Um, so, you know, you don't get quite as together as much as you did before because there's a, a generation gone. And yeah. As that yeah. happens, a, right. a new generation is coming up behind it. You, your attention is, makes this transition. And I'm right. sure many of our viewers have gone through this too. Right. Um, so, so it's more focused on our... I'd say our nuclear family, but not as nuclear as it used to be with, you know, boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Yep. Um, yeah. Part of things. So uh, it, rather than going to somebody else's house in town, it's it's being with our own children who are home from college. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that's so definitely scaling back as far as meeting and you're not not going to be. Yeah. If it weren't for that, we'd be family family and yeah, we'd, yep. be, we'd be together with your folks and right. and, and, and your yeah. Brothers, uh, whoever's home for Thanksgiving, that is not right. Um, and yeah. maybe my other brothers too, with their families also. All right. Yeah, for uh, me, it's it's changed a lot too. So we're uh, um, my my wife and I. We do the every other year thing with our our families, kind of switching off between uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas. You know, one with one family, one with the other. So this year, we were supposed to go to my wife's family for Thanksgiving, and um, that's up in Oregon, uh, yeah. and with families coming from. Oregon, California, and Nevada. So three, three different states. So it's actually been canceled. Um, and we will be staying home for Thanksgiving. Um, it's a unique year. It is. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. that was just obviously hard on the family. Um, we, we only meet yeah. like that usually once or twice a year. So it's, it's really difficult when one of those gets canceled. Although you've been with them quite a bit this year, haven't you? Even, even with the pandemic. Uh, earlier on, when it was uh, not as big of an issue, we did yeah. meet. Um, but now things have really escalated. Um, so we made the the game time decision. It was actually just made last week, where we just we just said no, we don't want to risk it um, because everywhere we're coming from, you know, yeah. have have numbers that are going crazy. In case our our viewers so. either aren't aware or this is being watched sometime in the future, th at the time we're recording this, just before Thanksgiving, twenty twenty. The numbers of COVID cases are just skyrocketing in the right. United States. How many did we have out of our office last week? Uh, more than any other week, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, it, it was a pretty crazy uh, week. Which, and I have one in the hospital yeah. who went in hypoxic. So, Yeah, we, we didn't get the exact number yeah. of the week. I'm, the under 10, though, you know, just for people to know, yeah. our yeah. office. It's, right, we have a small smaller office. Yeah, it's it's not like a big group that has lots of cases, or in a different part of the country that would have, you know, lots of cases of COVID. Right. Um, thankfully, no, we're not we're not like that. Um, it, for us, it's a lot. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. More than before. So. And, and today's topic, talking about Thanksgiving, does relate to your uh, post today on DrGreenknight.com. Dr. Yeah. Although I don't think I, I don't think I necessarily had a link to it in this. I usually have a link to his blog. I can always just hop on over there. We, yeah, you can tell him where it is anyway. Yeah, drgreennight.com. Yeah. So well, check it out. There's you'll our, see why we have a, a link to something else. This right. Week. I two. remember that. I know we do, yeah. Two, two things. Yeah. So so let, but let's get uh, to your 
Oh yes, uh, this is live. And Bianca, have, thanks for joining us. Live we chat always with Bianca. like Bianca, and Bianca is on the other side of the pond. She says we don't do Thanksgiving. Always look good. In, always looks good in the movies, though. <laughs> looks good in the movies. We'll have to have Bianca over. Sometime. Looks like our Christmas dinner. Yeah, we over yeah. here. Uh, we we like we just whenever we can have a big dinner. Not a real European thing. That's right. Apparently, yeah. there's one in Canada, but it's a different date. Really? That's what I understand. Maybe who, our Canadian. Our, yeah, I was trying to think. Don't we have a uh, subscriber who's who's from Canada? I'm sure we do. Teresa, really? Is she from Canada? I don't think so. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Triple A's here. Good morning, she says. Good. Mo That's right. She's down in Australia. Do, Good morning. Do you have Thanksgiving yeah, in do Australia? They have, do they have Thanksgiving there? That's a great question. Um, and uh, some new ones. Connie Bassesi. Thanks for joining us. Um, I don't know. I recognize Connie's name, but Connie, thank you. You're welcome Lara to Sati. the chat. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so how should we do Thanksgiving this year? Yeah, it's going to be different. Um, yeah. Do you think people should make the decisions based on where they are? Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Where they are or where their guests are coming from or both. Right. Probably yeah. both. Yeah. Right. Um, so there are a lot of things. So I, I originally had the idea and was talking to my patients about having the only safe way would be to get everybody tested before going. But even that has its risks because um, you can get tested and then it takes three days to get your results and then you, you know, you're going somewhere. So you could get exposed in that time or when you tested, you weren't to the level where the virus wasn't shedding yet. Yeah, and you were able to see you. that you had it. So, so that's not, there's no 100% safe way unless you were, I guess. Testing does tr provide, not, you know, if, if it were happening to all. catch somebody who's pre-symptomatic, yeah. there's value for that. So, so, so the, the difficulty with Thanksgiving is there's a lot of eating. And you can't wear a mask. <laughs> just like when I took that drink just now. Well, you're eating. Yeah. This guy. This guy. <laughs> Remember I, I talked about showing how the merchandise is, is used so our viewers will... Demonstrating. Will it holds water. Crazy. Well, that didn't result in any sales, but... Oh, man. But I think it's because you're supposed to do it consistently. Oh, so we'll, we'll be drinking single, from here on out. Any single episode won't sip. do it. And I won't do all the sipping in the microphone. See, that was a lot quieter than last week. <laughs> That's right. You were like... Because I'm considerate now. Gurgling. This week. <laughs> for the... What's that? Slurping. SM... Or the... MSR... M M RS... That, uh, three letters that are something. MS... Uh, MSNBC. <laughs> ASMR. ASMR. There it is. Uh, yes. ASMR. Put, the, put that on our... our, our uh, Bianca says, safer to stay at home. And uh, yeah. AAA says, I agree. Yeah, that, that is the truly yes. only safe way to, yes. to get through this holiday without exposure. That is the safest. Yes. Um, which is what my family will be doing. Uh, we'll just be having it together. We, we should let them know, though. There are ways to be together. Yes, still, because that know. is what my post was all about, being there for each other. Because going into these holidays, we've essentially had a whole year where we've had to stay away from people and had increased stress, crazy things going on, political unrest in the U United States, crazy stuff. So, so typically at the end of the year, we have these holidays where we can all just get together, decompress, actually share some time with people we like, <laughs> at least in my case, because I go over to your house. Um, <laughs> so, um, so how do you do that when you can't, can't get together? You can't, um, you know, actually sit down at a table and eat together. Um, one of the things to do would be to do something outside. There um, you go. Socially distance. So we we'll go hiking. Go for a hike. Yeah. I yeah. hope the weather's um, good. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. After we plan we, we have a big hike planned for Friday after uh, Thanksgiving, yeah. which our whole family's going on. Um, so that would be one thing. Um, if you must go to somebody's house, wear your mask uh, the whole time. And, and when you're eating, try to eat socially distanced. So when you're unmasked, you are at least six feet away from everyone around you. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. But um, possible. Yeah. Every, just find your corner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't uh, put everybody around the same table, please. Right. If yeah. If, if you do, a big areas, table and please, separate don't. everybody I mean, out. It's, it's, it's awkward, maybe. It's different. But yeah. If you can come up with another table, you can still talk to each other. And I know it's not good for conversation, but keep groups together. Keep those, you know, if, if, if um, yeah. family A came together, keep family A together when they're eating or 
Yes. Um, yeah, I know that's this when is, you really want to talk and intermingle with the others, but that's not the time when you're eating. We save it for afterwards yeah. when you can wear your mask. This is not the year for, for that, no. Yeah. And in fact, if you are at the same table, if it's unavoidable, we recommend that you sit in a way so that the people from the same household are across the table from each other. So that when they're eating, whatever's coming out of their mouth and nose is going across to another person from their home. Out of your mouth and household. nose, how are you eating? It's, right. it's because I make him laugh when he's eating. <laughs> it's so invisible it is. stuff. <laughs> Whenever you're talking, you know, that's why we wear these masks, to catch yep, that stuff. You're right. So when you take the mask off, that stuff is still going even though we don't see it. Although, yes, in some cases there is stuff you see at <laughs> some, some meals. Sometimes. Some people in our family. Yeah. <laughs> so have the people from the same household across from each other. Right. And people from different households are diagonal. So that, and, and there was a study. I, I don't remember what journal it was in. But they, I remember, yeah, they found like there's a 70% decrease in uh, it was either respiratory droplets getting to the people who are transferring off to the sides, side to or, side. Yeah. Uh, somehow they're estimating uh, virus transmissibility in that exact setting. And yeah, there is enough of a difference that if you're going to do it, sit diagonal to the people who aren't from your household. Yep. Simple thing makes a difference. Right. Uh, and of course, uh, Bianca brings up FaceTime, Zoom, whatever. Uh, AAA brings up Zoom. Yes, yes you can still be there. Yes. I know it's not physically Please present, but you it. can see each other. You can actually talk without your mask on when you're doing the over Zoom thing. So you can yes. see facial expressions you haven't seen in a while. Um, and, it, and it can be the next best thing to being there. And even sharing a meal together with, with Zoom on. You, know, why not? Yeah, you can do it. Um, yeah, yeah, just set, set up the, it's, it's the monitor, funny. right, or your iPad or phone or whatever it is at one of the yeah. seats on the table. Do you know how good that feels to say it's just one year? Yeah, I know, I know that we can actually say that now because we, there is an And I think our know, viewers ending. know, I was actually a little worried at one point. That, that this that was, was just going to go on, yeah, yes. in, in indefinitely at some points we were thinking. Maybe that that's a, a good... Uh, moment to give a little update on the vaccine situation sure yeah um so I think, you got the most recent upset i think update. last time we talked about two different vaccines found to be 90 percent effective that right. were approaching uh, the point to go to uh request for emergency use authorization from the fda and now that's i believe two of them have applied i'm not sure, yes yeah and they're saying applied. as soon as mid-december oh, they can goodness. start shipping that which is amazing so they, uh, the the body for the FDA that meets will be meeting on, I believe it's December 10th. Mm. Uh, and that'll be something that occurs first to uh, give a clear. recommendation to yeah. FDA before they would clear it. And as soon as they clear it, I guess they're ready to ship it. But the new news is AstraZeneca today That's the on their one. website has a description of looking at the data from their phase three trial that finds that if they give a half dose of their vaccine followed one month later by a full dose, they get 90% effective protection against yeah. COVID-19. That's a Again. third vaccine. And this one's much less expensive. And it can be shipped at... And it can be shipped at normal temperature. Normal temperature. Refrigeration. That's, it's still for refrigeration. Yeah, yeah. But normal something... <laughs> normal, yeah. Wow. Um, it's some, they're all two-dose vaccines. Right. Yep. All three of them two, are two-dose. Two dose. pokes. Sorry two for dose. you needle phobes out there. Yeah. But yeah, it'll, it'll yeah. be worth it. And I guess we should be upfront about adverse effects. No severe you, adverse effects. Yeah, nothing, nothing. But it does sound like people feel really it the bad. next day. From but you're, you're the descriptions it. I've heard that. Uh, yeah, it's like a vaccine. You're so under you can, the weather. You can be sore or feel under the weather for a day, or one of them said two after their second vaccine. This sure. Is In my opinion, totally worth it. Totally worth it. If I had to be able three to total days, up and three total days of feeling under the weather to, you know, potentially and likely completely um, get rid of. It's like, oh, man, yeah. totally worth it. I would take that. Yeah, yeah I would too. So um, safety. Um, I don't think we've heard anything back on the, the final safety numbers. Oh, yeah, that's just what I've heard so far. The, um, the actual data is going to be reviewed by that body I was but, describing earlier. Yeah, that yeah that's, has a that's kind of the last little that. hurdle there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, Lindsay, thanks for joining us. Oh, she Lindsay's says, happy Thanksgiving to all. And, and some people are saying outdoor barbecue. Yeah, if, if, if it's not too cold, we are approaching the winter in some areas in, in the United States. Going outdoors isn't really. That's Lindsay Antoine? No, no, that was oh. just uh, okay. uh, AAA made that comment. Um, just, <laughs> it's actually probably pretty nice in Australia right now, right? <laughs> in the United yes. States, yeah, barbecues. Yes. Christmas on the beach. Not the, not the best choice at this point. Um, let's see. Let's um, mild here today, 24 degrees. I'm Should, guessing that's 
There you go. Should I introduce uh, some resources? <laughs> yes, I <did>. some resources <laughs> uh, that the CDC has. Sure. So if you go to the CDC website, which is just cdc.gov, you'll see down on the lower left there, looks like some pies. If you click on that, then you'll get to go to another page that talks a little bit about Thanksgiving. So if we were to click Ooh. on that, we, we get celebrating Thanksgiving. Now on this page, you can go scroll down it when you're on it on the, on the internet and see a lot of the suggestions they have. There's one that kind of caught my attention here. Let me share it with you what that was. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> yeah, let me put it up here. So it's talking about activities. Let me make it so Dr. Gwen can see it here. <laughs> Consider other Thanksgiving activities. So uh, you've got this thing here, watch television and play games with people in your household. Watch Thanksgiving Day Shopping Parade. Shopping online. Is there going to be a Thanksgiving Day Parade? I'm wondering, what are the activi What are the Thanksgiving activities they're not putting here that people you normally do that are bad, other than getting together? But Not really. Yeah, what, getting together is really... What, what is it here? Watch um, football. What, what <laughs> Go is, play football. Play? In, the, in the park, outside. I, I, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me get back to... Uh, to, you know who we're getting back to. Mm -hmm. We're getting back to Dr. Mark and Dr. Gwing. There we go. i got to get rid of all my graphics now. Though. <laughs> what, what is going on here? <laughs> it's funny to watch old people with technology. Oh, man. This is what I have to deal with. Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my old goodness. Old people with technology. Which is, oh, goodness. What, what's oh, awful, head back. Head for it. Oh, okay. man. So that's at cdc.gov, and I do encourage you everybody to out. look at it um, before Thanksgiving, just so you can see some ideas. Uh, if you are traveling, it addresses that. Um, if you're up in the air about it, it will strongly encourage you not to travel. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and and early on, I was you know kind of waffling on it, but as the numbers have gone up, I have I have made more firm recommendations against it with my patients this year. Yeah, this year, obviously, yeah. yeah this this is a be. unique thing, yeah. and we do see it as temporary, thankfully. Yeah. Well, speaking of food and cooking. Food, comfort food. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part that I've been waiting this whole conversation for. Should we introduce them to Marcy? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So absolutely Marcy Epp, my college friend. Uh, actually, we were in television uh, production class together back when I was a broadcasting major, and she was a broadcasting major or communications. So Marcy Epp has her own YouTube channel now. Yay! <laughs> and she just cracks me up. So I don't know Marcy Epp. I've only seen her on this YouTube channel, and um, it is definitely worth checking out. So Marcy's For Farmhouse sure. Kitchen, there's a link in, in the description. You should definitely I, go over there. I Blow up everyone, her channel. Everyone, go, go check it out. Subscribe, subscribe. hit the bell icon, oh, and like her videos, and watch them. Uh, I don't endorse the food <laughs> yeah. as a doctor. That part, yeah. I don't endorse those foods. <laughs> but if you are going to have those foods, Marcy will show you how to prepare them, and you'll love them. And, and you will love Marcy. She is, oh, she is just the funnest. So, uh, <laughs> yes, do go over there. Enjoy Marcy's oh, Farmhouse Kitchen. Marcy's Farmhouse Kitchen. And her kitchen. comfort foods. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Dr. Gwaine saw some of it. I, I did. I, so, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was yeah, she's it, fun. So if you if you saw us, Marcy, she's she's <laughs> packing for Thanksgiving of all things. Uh, <laughs> but if you saw it, we did do your shout out for you. Awesome. Um let's see. I think we've got all, all caught up here all and, caught up and on uh, our chat. said said hi to all of our um our usual people. Yeah. And Bianca, triple A. Um I think who else was on there? Didn't we have Lindsay? Yeah, Lindsay yeah. Antwine made a comment too. Thanks for. Should we throw uh, throw out a shout out for Electric Jesus, the film? I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. I saw parts of it, which I uh, w w I enjoyed. So that you it, showed me. If if anybody else grew up in uh, the Christian rock music world in the '80s, you will love Electric Jesus when you can find it. Try to find it. Uh, it's available until Thanksgiving on some film festival on Vimeo. And uh, you can find it on Facebook if you search for it. It is a crack up and takes you back to some good days. 
<laughs> a little, little before my time. But that's all right. Yeah. I still yeah. enjoyed part. You're pretty small then. <laughs> well, all right. Yes. Who do you want to thank? Oh, yeah. We definitely want to thank our Patreons, uh, Teresa Roat and Boo Kitty over at drgreennight.com. Thanks for what you do. You make it happen. Appreciate that's right. It. I also have Patreon at Dr. Vaughn, and uh, we have some, I guess you'd call them matrons, both Boo Boo Kitty and Lindsay Antoine, thank you so much for participating in Auburn Medical Group and the activities we do. Yep. Until next time. Hey, I'm Dr. Gwen Vaughn. And I'm Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.